just doing the little things. Uh, we talk about winning 50-50 balls a lot um, and just finding, finding a way to win. Did you, guys, did you guys feel this coming, something like this? It looked like everything, even when you hit that third straight three and yelled to wherever, like almost a release. Did you guys feel like something like this was coming eventually? Um, yeah, like, like successful basketball um, doesn't really change over the years. The formula, um, if you buy the formula, it's going to work. Um, we won with this system last year. Um, a couple pieces changed, and we filled those spots. And um, if you run, if you run the sets right, um, it's hard to guard for anybody. Which pieces of the system do you think came back tonight more than any? Was it offense, defense? Um, I think defense. Um, we, we limited their um, limited their attacks. Um, I don't know how many paint touches they had, but the first game they killed us in paint touches. So um, limiting the noise and uh, making them settle for shots. Eli, uh, you know, outsiders talk about the NCAA tournament, you know, what you guys need to do to get there. Does that ever get discussed inside the locker room? Hey, we need, we need to start winning these games to, to reach our goals. Um, we're not even counting out the Big Ten. The Big Ten regular season. Sure. Um, so we talk about we have to win every single game. Um, I think about <laughs> how, how loud are you going to talk? I mean, I remember through my years, like seven seven wins usually win. I mean, seven losses usually win the Big Ten or have a chance at tying. Um, so just staying focused on that. Take it every single game series. Um, we're not counting ourselves out of the Big Ten regular season. Eli, you guys 